What up, what up? This is your boy Checo. This is your boy Noi. What up? And this is Compass Unfiltered. Thank you guys for listening, for watching. Make sure you guys follow all of our social media. Subscribe and like. And make sure you go rate us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Make sure you drop a comment on YouTube. Uh, like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Enjoy the episode. You don't seem tired. You seem good. I'm, I'm good, way. But um, like even even when I was trying to take my nap uh, earlier, like I'm just closing my eyes, bro. But like I can't go into like that deep sleep. Like I never noticed, but you know when you're like now, I feel like I can tell when I actually go into, like go into my deep sleep now. That means you're not in deep sleep. <laughs> like I can tell, like I'm out. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. It's weird. It's fucking weird. And I think it happened when. When I went for that sleep study shit for the sleep apnea, yeah, like and that fool started telling me about like the four stages and shit of sleep, and he was like, "Do do you ever have dreams like like?" And I was like, "Well, yeah, I have dreams, you know." He's like, "But is, are they like? Do you have dreams every night, or is it just like once in a big while, or what?" And I was all like, "Well, I'm like, fuck, I'm over here thinking like, man, lately, like I haven't really had dreams, but like I just go to sleep and I wake up." He's like, when you go into a, a, a dream, whether it's an actual, like a good dream, a nightmare or whatever, like you're into that stage three. Like if you don't go into a dream, mm -hmm. you never hit stage three. So your body never fully recovers. Well, I usually, I mean, it's been a long time since I dream. Your body never fully mentally recovers. So I got to be dreaming. When you hit a dream, you're into stage three. Then stage four, it's like some other kind of like recover stage. And that's more like, I forgot what, I'm, you know, I'm not a fucking whatever expert into this shit. But that was going to be a good TikTok, but you had no information. I don't have any information. <laughs> I don't. And we'll fucking do this shit later. Fuck you guys. <laughs> nah, we'll bring it up again, wait, because I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to leave this shit on. But yeah, once leave I, it on. Why not? Because nah, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, I wish I, I, I wish funny. I would have actually done a little bit of research. I could be like, yo, wait, when you go into stage three, it's called whatever. This is what it is. But First of all, I, do you even know what it's called when you're in whatever, tier four or whatever it is? Or no? That's just stage three way. Yeah. <laughs> tier that sounds four. like cancer. Right? Adding, that does sound like cancer. <laughs> you dumbass. But that's what he said. Stage three? See, wait. Okay, but when, when you are getting in fully recovering, there's a certain term for it which is yeah. the only term i've heard but i can't even remember what the name of it is do you okay well it, no i can't remember stage three we want me to remember <laughs> tier four whatever the fuck <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta keep this off for sure <laughs> i can't keep this shit on oh fuck <laughs> episode 97 welcome back companoy another fucking um another episode bro yeah merry uh, christmas happy new year's we didn't drop christmas we were supposed to we did a virtual one and valio because uh technical difficulties no audio on whose side on my side that, i did something i did something wrong i don't know so <clears throat> and we're actually recording like a day before so you guys were here this tomorrow well, wednesday right and we typically don't record like i see that one day to the next but um i think you guys have been waiting for a while people have been like hitting us up to drop what rem Ram, there you go. I, I, but you I, had to look it up. Yeah, but know what I'm saying. But that's the only term that I've heard. I I hadn't even heard like stage one, stage two. And that's exactly what it says. Stage one, beginning to fall asleep. Uh, stage two, uh, light sleep. Uh, stage three and four, deep sleep. Um, and then stage, I'm guessing that's four, which is REM. Yeah, REM. Yeah, the it says the in REM, the brain is more active uh, than when awake. The guy said during REM, during that stage, like that's when like your eyeballs are moving. Obviously, your eyes are closed, right? But you can actually see your eyeballs moving. That's because you're in REM sleep. Yeah, And that's, that's when you have crazy. a dream or a nightmare. So if you have that, that's actually good because then mentally you're recharging. And not that you can't not recharge and not function, but... In the long run, it's it not good for you. you. Yeah. Well, it says that in REM, bro, you're, you're, your brain's working more than when it's awake, thinking creatively and building complex learning, problem solving, and executive functions, bro. That's all happening while in REM. Yep. 
Yeah, I did not know that, bro. And I think REM only lasts for about an hour and a half. Yeah, I've heard that. So in deep sleep, which is stage three, where you want to be, right? Yeah, that's where you want to be. The brain goes offline while the body restores, blood pressure drops, breathing slows down, hormones are released uh, to restore and repair the body. Yep. Don't exercise within three hours of bedtime. That's a quick tip for you guys. That's what it says? Yeah. It says tip. Don't exercise within three hours of bedtime. I wonder why that is. It doesn't say? No, it doesn't. Uh, Another tip. Establish a regular sleep schedule and keep a cool, dark, quiet sleeping environment. So mm. they're definitely giving you some tips here, bro. I'm pretty sure he mentioned some of this stuff when, when I went in there. Um, and just to kind of catch you guys up, I went in I went in because um, they think I have sleep apnea. And basically, sleep apnea, it's uh, when you stop breathing while you're sleeping. And... Everybody has some sort of sleep apnea. It just depends on how bad it is. So my thing was like, I was waking up, man. Like I was fucking tired all day, you know, whatever. I don't think it's because of sleep apnea. It's because I'm diabetic. I found out. I literally found out, bro. I want to say like a week after we had um, the homie. Uh, he was telling us about the Mexi, Mexi fit. Yeah. Or- what was Nutri- that? Nutri Fit Maxi something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um a tricky name. It was I forgot. Damn it. Nutri Max. El compa Daniel. And it was I think it was Maxi Fit. Yeah, Maxi Fit Re- Revolution. Oh, you were close to that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So after we had him on, bro, then it was like, oh yeah, I'm like, I'm diabetic and shit. And it was crazy because he was telling us like, oh, like milk is bad for you. This is bad for you. I'm like, damn, I love all that shit, bro. And he was like, bro, all that shit is sugar. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, maybe, maybe that's it. And uh, yeah, I'm diabetic. I don't. So people who are diabetic, like my my percentages or whatever. So I forgot what's it called again, right? I got. I should have looked this shit up. We. I didn't know we were gonna talk about this, but it's supposed to be like two point five to five point six, some percentage. Um, your glucose levels or what? I don't, I don't think it's called glucose level. Okay. Or also, I would have just said it like that, but I don't think it's something else. But that that's that's like where like the averages of most people up to 5.6. 5.6 to 7, you're pre-diabetic. Anything over 7, you're diabetic. And I was at 7.2. Now there's people who are like at 8, they're at 9, you know, 10% or whatever. Damn. What they pause. See? I got to pause. So it's not your blood glucose sugar levels, right? That's something different? It's something different, bro. Uh, it's when they do blood it, work. Is it the word with the T? I have no idea. Not that cuerda is another way. No okay? way. I don't remember. But anyways, if I if I uh find it, I'll put it up on well, YouTube. People who watch on YouTube will be able to see it. Yeah. But it's it's when they do blood work and that's like a percentage, like that's where you're supposed to be at and whatnot. If I find it, I'll put it up what's actually I was called. trying to look it up, but I'm too slow, bro. <clears throat> But anyways, so I'm like I'm I'm diabetic, but it's like I'm def. I mean, I think any kind of almost every form of di- diabetes or it's like reversible. But like I'm definitely there where I can reverse it. I just gotta like put in the work, you know. Stop with sugars and stuff like that, or whatever, and even like stuff that does turn into sugar, like bread and anything else like that. Like I can like legit stop drinking milk, bro. Like most sugars, for the most part, and I say most because like I will occasionally have like something that's sweet. Um, but for the most part, like yeah, like I'm not. No sugar. Like a lot of veggies and a lot of veggies, grains and stuff like that. So I mean, I'm, I'm trying, but not hard enough, right? Because yeah, because of the holidays, we'll blame it on the holidays. Bro. I do blame the tamales were fired. Hey, do you have tamales? Hell yeah, bro! Damn. I'm glad you asked. Shout out my cousin Dora and her mom. Shout out. They brought him from St. Louis, bro. She hit me up. Hey, we'll be there for New Year's. What do you want us to bring? And she mentioned like barbacoa, tamales, and something else. And I was like. Bro, tamales. Barbaco sounds fire too. Yeah, bro, but we have that out here. You know, like we have tamales out here too. But they make it fire, like or okay. Yeah, they it's make different. It, yeah, Some they make shit. it Zacatecas style, compa. Like there's lar, a lot of people in Zacatecas that make it pretty good over here, we. Well, yeah, but I don't. The, not in my family. Oh, not, oh yeah, okay. like my mom doesn't like bad, making bad, bad. them. Um, yeah, so it's like they came. They, yeah, I needed that, bro, and they came through, bro. They're good. You, you like save one or. Too, no? I didn't think about bringing you any, bro. We still You're have a some. Asshole. 
I didn't know you wanted some because you, you get them. <laughs> you do I, have them. Your family, you say your aunt made them and your other family makes them? My, my aunt does make them. And shout out to my aunt. She, she We had some for New Year's. How were yeah. they? They were good. She was from Zacatecas. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so they're good. Oh, hell yeah. I even went, um, shout out Jose. His mom, his mom be making them and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, they they taste just like my aunts, bro. Like it's like, a Zacatecas thing. I don't know what it is. Something, like right? I don't know if it's like, and, and people might tell us tell us what it is. But from what I remember, what kind of or what I heard was like they use a the manteca for like tortillas, not for the actual tamales, some shit like that. Like they use a different type of masa. I know for sure that it's the way you uh, como masa la masa, how much salt and all that. And then the manteca that you use is going to, you know, how much of it that you use too mm. makes a huge difference. So maybe if you make it from scratch, obviously that's different. But I heard something about like they use the, they use the masa from Maseca? tortillas, okay. not, because obviously it's different, right? Yep. Something like, I don't know. I'll bring you some though, but we still have some, bro. Hell yeah. So I didn't think about it, dude. I did not think about it. I was, Honestly, I've been eating them since New Year's Eve, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Fire. So to me, it was like- Akumal? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And like constantly, bro. Like that day, I I think I ate like three times, dog. Like fuck, they fire. killing them. Yeah. Fire. They are good. So I'll make sure to save you some. Hell yeah. Without Everyone. a doubt. But yeah, shout out. They they came through clutch, bro. What else did you have? What, uh, else, what else was on the menu? For that day, my wife made wings and they brought tamales and we were supposed to make other stuff, but we ended up kind of heading out to a different party. So Oh, see, once more. Yeah. So we, that was it. That was it. And then the next day, we had tamales, bro. They brought he- hella tamales, bro. Yeah, so. That's dope. Have you ever have you ever had the tamales over there on, um, it's uh, El Milagro Way. They're supposed to be like really fucking good. El Milagro where? Yeah, but well, they have one, I mean, the one on 26th year. The oh, one you're talking Blue about Island. the tortilla? Yeah. No, I've never had them. Like yeah. the only thing I get, bro, is like by me, Fiesta Market, there'll be a lady selling them. Those are pretty decent. Um, But they're not like, Bomb, you know they're okay. Like they're, yeah, like they're, they'll get you through, you know. For sure. And then my cuñada makes uh, tamales, but she makes the the one de hoja de plátano. Oh, like Oaxaqueño type. I, I guess like she's type, from Guerrero, so. but yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, is that what it's called? That, well, that's what I call them. Well, yeah, uh, tamales Oaxaqueños. which are good, but they're not what I grew up with. Well, you, you grew, know, yeah, so I like when I get to have a, like a Zacatecano, like actually they taste like my mom made and my tías made. I'm like, yeah, I'm in heaven, bro. That like, that's what I like. You know what I mean? Is it like soft, masa? Like almost kind of slippery and shit. Like, um, I yeah, because when I hit it, I had the them right coming out, and that's how they were. And then when you have to go to los pones, el comal ya está más crunchy. You know? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. Simon. Yeah, but yeah, bro, I'll bring you some, bro. I don't think you'll be disappointed. No, I don't think so either. I'm telling you, so far from what I've had from people from Zacatecas, they're tamales, fire, bro. They're good, right? I, I don't think I've tried one that's like not good. I'm gonna say the masa is what makes it, bro. The masa is definitely 100 percent what makes it. The filling, it's just you know, got that can right. But. Yeah, it's got to be good too, though. But oh yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, they didn't, dis- they didn't disappoint, bro. Um, um, I don't think we told anybody about Christmas way. What's up with Christmas? What did you do? Oh, uh, my shorties were sick, bro. Well, one of them. Oh yeah, yeah. So the I stayed home. Sick. I th- oh, because we did record it, or no? That's why we tried to do the virtual one because yeah, your kid, okay. the kids were now sick. I remember. Yeah, same okay, so yeah, we ended up staying home. So her parents came over. On New on Christmas Eve for brunch breakfast that was super cool first time we ever did that you know we played games pretty much Christmas Eve pero en la mañana way y con breakfast that's different yeah we had steak bagels and I forgot what else bro pancakes um all kinds of stuff bro and no más no alcohol nobody drank it was early man I think people got home got there like 9 30, 10 o'clock oh that's early. Yeah, it was like early in the morning, bro. And um, but it was busy, it was good, man. The kids got to open gifts and pretty much Christmas Eve, pero en la mañana, compa, with her side. And then by that time, uh, we decided just to stay home and not go to my brother's, which is where my family hosted at. Um, and just because of the shorties. We ended yeah. up we ended up going for Christmas Day, but I didn't want to take the shorty out, bro. And then he's they're already kind of tired and he was kind of feeling not one hundred. Right. So I was like, man, we'll just stay home like why push them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be struggling with them over there or something. But they're good now. The yeah, they're good, man. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. yeah, it just took a little bit of time, bro. Like, I feel like everybody's kids is tan mocosos and coughing and... I think that's just kids, bro. Because every, everywhere I it's... go, man, all the kids are like that, dude. 
I think right now, I don't want I, I want to say it's a little bit worse, wait, just because kids are always getting sick, but it's like it's hitting adults and they're like getting sick for like a month on end. You know, it's like, oh man, I have a cough and it's been like a fucking month. It's been three weeks. It's been. So whenever, whenever we uh, hung out Christmas day, dude, at my brother's and then we left, my sister got sick with the flu. And then a couple of days later, I think his daughter came down with the flu and then his wife came down with the flu. Oh, yeah. So it was just like, boom, trickling down. I think my mom got sick too. And I said, nosotros nada, compa. You know, like, but. Yeah. It just started trickling down though. You you just see it, bro. Like you said, they were they were down for a bit, bro. Yeah. It kind of throws you off. You're like, holy shit, should we be home? My mom was like, I mean, you can pick it up anywhere. We go to the grocery store, we go everywhere, bro. So we're not really that type to be like, ah, oh, we're gonna stay home. Like we can be picking it up on the sea, compa. That's true. And the kids, like the other day, dude, um, and then we'll we'll switch it up. We went to Woodfield Mall. We had not been in the mall in like I want to say a year, bro, just to throw out a number out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, we went to Woodfield just to have the kids play. And we're on the way there. And, and we're like, I mean, is this a good idea? Like, the, everybody's sick. You know, the holidays just happened. And she's like, man, whatever. Let's just go. Like, they're going to have a good time. If they get sick, they get sick. They, they could catch it anywhere, and which is true. So <laughs> we went, bro. They had a blast. I had not walked in the mall in a minute, bro. Not even for Christmas shopping. I did do some Christmas shopping in the mall. It wasn't bad. We, uh, so we got sick, right? I got sick uh, early November. Not because of, oh, of me? Well, yeah. No, not early November wasn't because of you. Oh, thank God. Thanksgiving week was because of Noe, though. Sure. I'll take it. I'll <laughs> not take since it. you want to bring it up, you know? I wasn't going to say nothing. You but, did uh, already. You've been saying Yeah, I know, but I wasn't going to keep bringing it up. I was like, oh. all right, it's over with, you know? Noe gets me sick. That's it. So, <laughs> But anyways, so I got sick early November. Then we, I got sick again for... Uh, Thanksgiving, which shout out to my boy Angel. He doesn't to the pod. Uh, congrats. He got married. Congrats, bro. And I wasn't able to go to the wedding. Pero este, so we were slacking. Like we did a lot of online shopping since we were home. We had all the time to do it. But um, and then like my wife got sick again, like I want to say like two weeks after Thanksgiving. Also not me. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> no, this no, I guy. wasn't him. No, nah, she just got sick again. Wait, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, you know, because I think at that time we were starting to go back out to go shopping or whatever. And she got sick again. Um, so we did some late shopping, like closer to Christmas time. And we actually we had a couple gifts left. Uh we still needed a couple more gifts. And when it got cold as fuck and it was windy, we went shopping. Yeah, and I remember like, you telling me that it was like that Thursday. Yeah, and I yeah. thought I was like, man, she's gonna be slammed, like, cause you know it's getting closer to the holidays. People are uh, flooding the the malls and whatnot. Nah, cero, compa. It was a cold day, like, bro. It was cold, and on top of that, well, we went to like the actual mall <clears throat> to Fox Valley, and then we went to the outlets in Aurora. And if you guys know where the outlets is, that's it's open. It's yeah. open. You know, you know, there's no. Uh... So, bro, my face was so fucking red just from like windburn. Like it was crazy, bro. How cold it was. Um, it wasn't snowing, but I been it. And it was like negative five or some shit like that. It was cold. I remember. I remember we went out, I think, to my parents' house or something, and it was like del carro uh, del carro la house, you know? And you felt and just it. that little bit. Yeah, just that little bit was cold. Shit, bro. Man, my dogs didn't want to go outside, like to use the bathroom. So I had to start getting I had to go get pee pads and whatnot, bro. You know? Damn. Which they're not on pee pads anymore, obviously, because they yeah, they're they, trained. They're trained. But um, like even like when we had the pee pads, they'll just look at me like, "Bro, are you serious?" And I'm like, "Yo, it's either this, or you go back outside." They're looking at you like, "Turn around, dude." <laughs> like, bro, well, actually, like my dogs, like they don't, um, they won't use the bathroom in front of me. Even like, when you walk them, like no, like oh, I can't in, the, in the house, yeah, yeah, yeah. like because they think you're gonna whoop them, bro. They do think I'm gonna whoop them. <laughs> I don't. I don't hit my dogs, you know. Sure. But don't be calling Peter. I mean, <laughs> 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 no, nah, I don't, bro. But uh. Yeah, especially the the younger one. Um, he he like he'll wait. He'll see that we leave, and then he'll like go and he'll use the bathroom. And he'll come back up, and then like I, if he's already coming back up the stairs, I'm like I already know where he went, what he did. So I go downstairs, clean, clean it up. up. That is what it is, bro. Part of having pets, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, Christmas, I went to my mom's, bro, and then mm-hmm. after that, I went to my suegras. Um, for, it was a good time, both spots. 
like you, I think we said this before, the whole like splitting time. I don't mind it just because I'm I'm not drinking as much anymore. So it's like whatever to me. But I get what you mean, where it's like if you're having like you're just chill, you're in the, you're comfortable, and then you're having a good beer or whatever. And this la plática está buena, lo que sea. They're like yeah, you kind of don't want to leave, but I, I was cool with it, you know. And I got to see my mom the next day. So I'm more like if if we're doing Christmas Eve one place, let's do Christmas Day at another place, you know. No, hundred percent. But I'm saying like I get why you don't want to leave also because yeah, yeah, yeah. like for sure. you're comfortable already yeah you're, yeah you're settled in you want to just stay there for the rest of the night or whatever however uh, much time you're there for um i think we did talk about like new christmas traditions um not new but like when your family does their own tradition like the I next day and stuff you, like that yeah i why well, I, I had asked you about like whenever you have kids bro were you gonna do your christmas day with just your family or Christmas Eve, just your kids. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, how do you feel about that? You know, because a lot of people do that. Like, oh, we're starting our own tradition. You know, like this is. That's right. I thought the, the uh, new tradition or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like, and. Well, yo te, yo te dije que for me, it's more like we only have our parents for so long. 100%. We only have our siblings for so long. Or, I mean, you never know who's going to be missing. You know what I mean? The following Christmas or whatever, or the next holiday or the next birthday. So. To me, it's more like I'd rather spend it all of us together um, than try to start that new tradition, you know? Maybe there will be time to to do that new tradition with your own kids at a certain point or, yeah. And I agree with that. And I actually like the, the idea of like the brunch early morning type of thing with like one family and then like maybe the afternoon because that, that's where you are splitting it. But it's enough time, right? Yeah, like morning, you know, time. it's like <clears throat> to, to split it and not feel so like, damn, well. Like, we're already here, you know? Right. And it was enough time. And the hard part, bro, it becomes hard when, like, for my my side, most of my siblings are going to meet up at one place, no matter right, what, right? right? But on my wife's side, like, everybody kind of has, like, their own plan or their agenda. Like, oh, I, well, we're hosting over here. Or we're doing this. Or we got to go. So for them, it becomes a lot more difficult because they're not, like, all saying, like, Oh, this day, let's either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, let's all meet up here, you know? So that becomes hard, you know, for them to to schedule and set it up. And then they want to see the kids open the gifts and all that. So it, it gets kind of hard, bro. But this brunch thing seems seems like it worked out for everybody. That's so a dope idea. I can, see it, I can see it happening again. Yeah, that's a dope idea. And what's crazy, bro, is that eventually, bro, like you're not going to even meet up with your siblings anymore. Like... Like I look at my like my my mom, bro. Like my OG. Like now, everybody in her family. Shout out to to my family, Los Prados. Um, nobody hangs out like that anymore. Why? Because everybody like my mom. She well, she's already like sixty, you know. So it's like she has us, and well, I don't have kids, but like my sister has kids, and her brothers. Like they they're also grandparents and whatnot. So it's like they get together, and then now we get so to, you like know what I mean. So it's like it's all like. And and people say it's like oh well it's like when your your grandparent passes away it's like yeah the family little by little starts to kind of do their own thing and and yeah it's true but like now I I saw it more because I had hit up my mom and I was like oh my mom said because I was thinking like maybe we will do Christmas Eve with my with my in laws and then Christmas Day with my parents but when I hit up my OG I was like um. What are you guys doing for Christmas Eve? Like, are you guys going to my uncle's house, my aunt's house? And they're like, nah, we're just going to stay home. And I'm like, fuck. Like, so did if I feel, don't go over. Did you feel guilty? I I guess I guess guilty is a way of saying it, but I just, I just felt, I yeah. felt bad. I, I don't want to say guilt, but I just felt bad. Um, I don't want to say like I felt um, guilt. Like not going over or whatever. I was just kind of felt like, bad, like that they were gonna spend it by themselves. By themselves, right, right. But they're not, not really guilt. <clears throat> so, yeah, way I was just like, damn, like, well, now I feel like, man, like I, I gotta go to my mom's now. Like she, they're gonna be by themselves, you know. Even though my sisters went, you know, what I mean, they went to go see them Christmas Eve. But I'm like, yo, like this is crazy, bro. Because before it was kind of like, well, where are you going? Or, I'm gonna go to my in-laws, and I'm gonna go to my in-laws. Like, ah, oh, don't even worry about it. We're gonna go to your tios. We're gonna go to your tias. And it's like just like nah, they're doing their own thing. We'll be home. If you guys don't come over, we'll be here tomorrow, or we'll we'll be here, you know, Christmas Eve. I'm like shit. And I'm like yeah, you know, I bet I'll be there Christmas Eve. 
That's kind of how it's been for my parents, bro. Because typically my brother will do something. I usually end up spending New Year's because Christmas was typically my family. New Year's is always her family. Um, they were always kind of by themselves on New Year's, you know, you kind of like a quick call. And this, I, we usually never go out. And I always tell my wife, like, man, we lame as hell. Like, we never go out to a party or anything on New Year's, right? Which is kind of what you want to do because you see everybody partying it up and musicals here and musicals there. And like people that typically would invite you, like, hey, come through, vente, vengase para acá. Yeah. But since they kind of already know that we don't, we don't go, they kind of slowed up, right? Um, and this time we actually got to go to a party. And then I was there, and I'm as New Year's is happening, bro. I'm thinking about my kids, bro. I'm like, man. I mean, they probably would have been sleeping anyways. No, but I was but like, still. I was like, man, I should be with them. You know yep. what I mean? Like 100%. it felt weird. Not necessarily my parents, because typically no me la pasaba con ellos, right, all the time. But now it's your kids that you want to be there for. Yeah. Yeah, like it felt. Yep. I was like, I, first thing that came to mind was like, man, my kids, man, like I should be holding them. Uh, giving them grapes, like making that tradition with them. Like I remember my parents who did it with me. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean? And I was like, "Hmm, this is this is weird." Like not the way I thought it w- I would be feeling, right? Um, because I had been thinking in my mind, like, "This is what I want. This is what I want to do on New Year's. Like, we should be we're young. We should be kind of having a good time." Um, and it not that I didn't have a good time. I'm just saying at New Year's point, at that point, I was right, like, right, thinking right. about my kids. I was like, "Man, this is weird." So next year? Party up. Nah. <laughs> Damn. All right. Nah. Next year, we'll see, bro. We just got to make it there, bro. You know what I, I mean? I was to say, I don't know all you see this. This is going to be on YouTube forever. <laughs> They're going to see, fool. God willing, bro. We uh, we make it to New Year's, bro, and, and we'll see what happens. But I definitely want them to be part of it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Primero Dios. Primero Dios, compa. Um, but since you kind of... Not that this person has passed away or anything like that. God forbid and... Prayers to him and his family. Yeah. But the whole like you just never know and whatnot. Uh Damar hey, Hamlin. Yeah. That's the, crazy, bro. The NFL like, football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a uh Bills um versus Bengals game. Yeah. Which they didn't even finish, right? Mm-mm. Este dude got hit. And I I like I was watching the game, but I wasn't watching the game. So I just saw the play or whatever. I didn't really think much of it. And then I saw like so many people were just there. And at first I was like, oh, like, well, he got hit. But, you know, maybe they're just going to put him out on the stretcher and that's it. You know, because it's, it's football. It's, you know, contact sports. So, but then when I saw like the amount of like all the players were coming, like, and then like on, on one knee and one night, I was like, oh, shit, something serious, bro. And they were like, get CPR and all that stuff. I'm like, bro, it. I was like, "Fuck, bro! Imagine we like just you're you're playing your game, you know. You're 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 a professional athlete." And I told him when we talked about this earlier, um, and now he's fighting for his life, bro. Yeah, and he's in his early twenties. Yeah, like twenty four or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Man," and that really hit. Like I don't know why it it hit or it strung a, it hit a nerve or something for me. Um, and you guys already know I get anxiety. It hit my anxiety, and like I told you, I got like if I got thirty minutes of sleep, that was a lot last night. Why I have no idea, bro. Like I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking about the possibility. Like I guess death. Yeah, death is a tricky one, man. I say I send you stuff all the time. It's like, yeah, you fucked up today, though. <laughs> like that kind of I'm t- like, yo, like this is it triggered me, bro. Like I'm, you know, he's like, yeah, you should you should go home and take a nap before the pot. I'm like, bet. And he's like, let me let me send this for another one of just to amp well, up let, was, amp up his anxiety. Let me send him another thing about death. Well, I'm like, what the fuck really are you doing, a, bro? It wasn't really about death as much as it was like be grateful for. For the time that we're here, because it's short. Because I'm already thinking about that, though. <laughs> True, but I didn't think about that. <laughs> I just thought, like, damn, that message hit. And anytime I see a message that hits me, I'm like, oh, let me send it to this fool. Um, and I mean, I don't know. Maybe you don't even think the same as me, bro. Like stuff like that, you'd be like, yeah, this is lame as hell. Let me go scroll nah, through. Nah, I'm but, telling you, it, it hits. Like, like, yeah. I, I think about you know, because obviously we're all gonna die. Like it's it's you know, something we can't avoid. And and I was actually I forgot who I was talking to. That's like maybe I was talking to you. I don't think I don't know. I, I don't think it was talking to you. But oh, I think I was, it was with my wife and and she was going into this thing. She she had seen like a TikTok or whatever. Like the average life expectancy of a person. It's like seventy something years old. And she's like, man, she's like, we only have like thirty something years left or whatever. 
And that's it. And I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, that's us. Like, now imagine our parents. You know what I mean? Like, it, I feel like we touched on this before too. And know? it's just like, and we we have, we have, we have talked about it. But it's like, that's when it hits, right? That's when it like, I'm like, fuck, bro. Like, we just, tomorrow's never promised for anybody. It could be whatever age, you know? Yeah. But if you do go by the, by what life expectancy is, it's like, damn, they, they only have 10, 15, 20 more years, you know? And who knows if those will be like good years, like healthy years. And you right, know what I mean? Right, right, 100%. Yeah, man. It's tough, man. It's tough. And you just mentioned, like, your mom's in her 60s. Like, we should be thinking, like, let's spend the most time that we can with them, you know? 100%. Like, that should be our thought. And and it's hard. It's not easy to... It's easy to say, but it's hard to do because life, it pushes you this way. It pushes you that way. It pushes you towards what, you know? Yep. Kids have sports and whatever, you know? Kids have homework. We got to go and all kinds of stuff, man. It's crazy. It's... Everyday life does that, but then there are times where we do have that choice, but we're selfish. Like yeah. we'd rather go party. We don't have to because we, right? yeah. we don't think about it, right? Because we don't. It's just like we don't think about it at that moment. We just like, oh shit, yeah, peda, my my compa, whatever. Like, yeah, bet. And like now, you know, at least, and I, and not to like be cliche and fucking be like, oh, twenty twenty three, new year, new me type shit, you know. But it's like I'm definitely gonna try to make it a. a you know, I don't want. I don't want to call. I don't want to say to go, bro. Just be there more as be much as I more. can. Be there more for my family, for especially for my parents. My parents live five minutes from me, bro. If that, and it's like, I see them still like twice a week. You know what I mean? Like, and they live five minutes from me, bro. I feel like that's not unacceptable. I don't want to say it's unacceptable, bro, because I mean they have their lives, and I, I'm I'm sure. Now I'm gonna say I'm sure. But to an extent, everybody kind of wants their own space to be in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but like at least with my, at least myself, it's like oh, it's just every Sunday, every Sunday, my mom's every Sunday. And then we we talked about this before, where it's like if you start adding up the Sundays and then just do that times ten times five, whatever amount of X years, like bro, that's it. There's only there's only so many Sundays, so many bro. Sundays left, bro, and that's it. You know? Yeah. And there are times where like, and I work close to my parents' house. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a drive for me to, you know, whatever. Um, but I can stop after work. I can stop by and just yeah, let's have a up. coffee or whatever, right? Let's just chill, just to chill and hang out with them for a little bit. Which like I said, I know sometimes they're probably like, Fool, like, what are you doing here? Like, we, I doubt it, man. I don't know. Nah, not like that. Think, like, no, but no, you know, like But I'm saying I don't think our parents think like that, bro. I think our parents think like, Thank thanks for coming, mijo. Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, every yeah. time I visit my mom, bro. She's. We put a smile on her face, bro. Uh, if I don't take my kids, I feel like they smile less. <laughs> but if I take my, if I don't, if I show up without my kids, they're like, "Hey, where the kids? Why didn't everybody come?" You know what I mean? Like, um, and I'm like, "It's just me, mom. <laughs> this is what you get today." <laughs> <laughs> no, I get that, bro. Because like, and it's not the same. But like, my mom asks about my dogs, you know, because I I always take my dogs to to my to my OG's house, to my uh, parents' house, and it's like. You know, you know, you see how my dogs are, bro. Like, I see some of man. Hell yeah, bro. They like them though. Yeah, they like them to an extent. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're they're not they're not going to compare to actual grandchildren. No, but, no way. So that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, they'll ask. Oh, and where are your dogs? I'm like, oh, man, you don't want them here. Bro. <laughs> like, come on, like, let's, let's let's be let's be real. You know what I mean? Like, don't. Yeah. yeah, as much as you're excited, right, to see me and like and you know whatever, but like, nah, come on, you know you don't want the dogs here. But that's what I mean though. Like, I know sometimes they obviously they want the time to themselves. But yes, every time they see me, they I hope they're they're happy to see me. I'm sure bro. they show it. I, at least that's to the you know they show it to me that yeah they're happy. Whether it's me, my sisters, uh, oh man, can you say they got um, my sister's kids? You know their grandkids. Like they bro, for sure. Like my mom is definitely like, let's try to arrange if we have if we have something going on. But like. And, and and this is like not in like in a bogus way, but like if my sister's kids can't make it for whatever, like my mom will try to arrange it around them, which is dope. Hell yeah, you know why not? But um, it's definitely like that. I think my mom enjoys us com- going over, like me and my sisters. But she's definitely like, yo, where are the kids? Where are the kids? Hell yeah, bro. You know. But we gotta we gotta change that up, bro. Facts. Us and people who are listening, if you don't really visit your parents or whatnot, man, change that up. Change that up big time. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Start tomorrow. Start tomorrow. 
Um, I think we're gonna start wrapping it up, bro. I don't think we really had like topics, topics, bro. But no. um, we just wanted to touch base with uh with people who listen. We know we we missed one week and whatnot, and and I know you said you're like, man, you walked in here and you were like, fuck, bro, it's been like four weeks since I've even sat in this place. I think it's been place. more. I think it's yeah. been more. Yeah, because we, I mean, we recorded last time me and you recorded um in the car was the car, so you weren't even in here and online, and then that one that's the one that yeah, didn't that's, come out. Yeah, so. Yeah, you haven't really actually been physically in this room no. for for a little bit. So has it been since Thanksgiving, bro? Before Thanksgiving, because we recorded with um, Ivan. Sama? Yeah, Ivan. Shout out, Ivan. Um, yeah, I stayed, we recorded with him. That was, I think, that was the last time you were physically in this room. That's a long time ago, man. That's a long time. I can't let that happen, bro. No, yeah. because it felt weird being in here. Honestly, not in here. In here, I felt fine, but when I was sitting in your living room in the, in the basement, bro, the bar area. It felt weird. Yeah. Pues sí, güey, como que ya tenía mucho no estando aquí. Like, I was already comfortable coming, you know, like, felt at home, dog. You should always feel comfortable coming here, bro. I appreciate it, my brother. But it definitely felt like, what the hell? Like, man, I don't know. Felt a little out of place, bro. But then I sat here and I was like, yo, who fuck with my mic, dog? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? And I was like, yo, this is it. I'm here. But um, now I'm just talking shit, compadre. Pero es, it's good talking to you, bro, too, because mm-hmm. we we haven't been talking on the phone that much either, we compa. They go, life pushes you all kinds of ways, bro. It does, it does. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. We've been busy, and you too. Yeah, but no excuses, way. We gotta work on that too. Oh, hundred percent, no excuses. Um, and speaking about being busy, we have a new sponsor, <laughs> myself. <laughs> yeah, PMP yeah, yeah. events, man. PMP events. We coming through, man. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Um, we, I have a I have a little side side hustle. Thing going on it's a it's a the 360 video booth if you're on youtube you'll see it i'll put a little video of it or whatever not of my actual setup but like just to so get an example or see what it, what i'm talking about but it's a it's a video booth I, I keep calling it a photo booth but it's video so video booth um and it does like a 360 like you stand on like on a platform and the camera goes around in a circle it's it's a thing people like it so if you guys want to rent one out i mean i'm your guy hit me up you know hit, up. hit us up on I mean, I have an Instagram, so PNP events. Um, I'll tag, and it's the. But we can also shoot us a message on Combos Unfiltered if you want. Like hit, him, yeah, hit him a message on anything on social media where you can reach him. Yeah, anywhere on social media. Um, we're down. We're down for for any events. Uh, so just hit, hit hit me up. Um, oh shoot. Well, we don't have it with us right now, but shout out Compa say yes. Got in seca, yeah. the Cheeto one. We already tried it. You gotta try it. With the Portillo's fucking cheese, bro. Yeah, if you're in Chicago it's, or Illinois. If you guys yeah. know, you know, the Portillo's cheese is fire. Um, but with the carne seca, with the hot Cheetos. It was good, right? It was good. It was bomb. It was good. Sorry, compa, say yes. Mande más, compa, porque ya se acabó esa bolsita, compa. Póngase pilas, compa. Póngase pilas, because we be going through it. We do be going through it. Um, Oh, uh, shout out to Pod Fam. Shout out to Pop Fam. I missed that thing, bro. You missed you missed the get together. We had a get together and I put up a montage. Yeah. It wasn't like a like I was planning to like that's another thing too. Like I want to vlog and, and shit, bro. But uh I feel like if I vlog, like I have to just do that. Like I can't, can't be I can't enjoy the festivities of what we're doing. You know what I mean? Like I can't enjoy the platicas, like to have a camera and like record myself and record whoever, you know what I mean? Like it's I guess it's too much for me. I can't handle it. But um, I did a little montage of, of us uh, hanging out. Companoi couldn't go. Um, and we hung out like right before New Year's. I think it was like that Thursday before Thursday. New Year's. Yeah. So shout out to uh, Paola. Shout out to Chingonas, este, Diana, Cynthia. I didn't see um, no pozole on the montage, bro. Like what happened, dog? Somebody didn't pull through. Nah, man. Pozole. Well, we said, fool. We, were, we, we, we said... Hey, we're gonna pitch in for because I don't want to. I don't want to go get the malas because we were actually supposed to hang out before Christmas. I'm just throwing shade. At you me. are throwing shade, but we were supposed <laughs> to hang out before Christmas. You know, say so because of the weather. And no yo que ve que I was gonna take the malas, but I was like, yo, we're we gonna get together. We're not gonna get together because we're supposed to get hit with a blizzard. I mean, we did get kind of hit with a blizzard, but it was more cold than it anything else. It was more cold. It was más el el aire. So we're like, ah, oh, like we probably shouldn't be driving because you know it, the roads weren't probably that safe. Um, so we didn't get together, but then we got together before New Year's, and um, it was Tao Chingon, Tao Chingon Cortero. 
shout out to este compa Luis, compa Oscar, también they had they uh, they were there for, um, for the get together. Uh, check out the montage if you haven't. It's on uh, Instagram and I believe Facebook. Facebook. It's on it's on both. If you guys want to see, like they said, there's no actual audio. It's just little clips of uh of us uh, playing the games and and um, shout out to Cynthia for coming up with the games and whatnot. We had a good time. We will be getting together soon. Um, we're actually planning a live audience podcast with the Pod Fam. I can't say what day and where yet, but we are planning it, and hopefully within the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll be able to announce fecha where, and uh, hopefully everybody can join us and and hang out with us for a bit. That would be dope. You know, it will be dope. Looking forward to it. I don't think there's any other announcements. Oh, shout out uh, Todos Toman Podcast. We're going to be recording with them next week. Todos Toman Podcast. Todos shout Toman. out. Shout out, compas. Um, and then we have more scheduled out for pretty much, I think we're kind of booked, bro, almost to like March. So we got, we got, we're we going to be busy, bro. We're going to be busy. We're going to be busy. Here we go. All right. Other than that, this is Compas Unfiltered. Thank you guys for listening and for watching. Estamos. Happy New Year.